In this video, we will show you how to install KuberDoc with Ceph Storage. Here are the minimum system requirements. You can also find this information on the following documentation page at docs.kuberdoc.com. If you haven't installed wget, then install it first. The process starts by downloading the installation script and running it on KuberDoc master server. Log in to the master server console as root using your preferred SSH terminal application and perform the following steps. Download the installation script by running the following command. You can find it in the reference article accompanying this video. To install Cluster with Ceph support, the following options for the deploy script must be defined. Ceph user followed by username, where username is a name of a user in Ceph cluster, in Ceph config, it is client username. Ceph config followed by path to Ceph conf defines the path to the Ceph configuration file. It should be copied to KuberDoc master server from Ceph admin host. For example, copy the file to etc Ceph folder, then the option will be Ceph config etc Ceph Ceph conf. Ceph user keyring followed by path to Ceph client username keyring defines the path to the keyring file with credentials for Ceph user. It should be copied from Ceph admin host to KuberDoc master server. If you cannot find this file, you can create one by running the following command on the Ceph admin host. You also can find it as other commands in the reference article accompanying this video. Finally, to start KuberDoc installation, deploy script with Ceph support that you need to run the command which looks as follows. You'll need to enter just a bit of additional technical information during the installation process. Enter the IP address of the KuberDoc internal network interface for master server to connect to the nodes or press enter. Enter interface to bind public IP addresses on nodes or press enter. When installation is completed, you will see the completion message and the saved log location. It is important to copy and save the KuberDoc admin credentials including the unique IP. Now, we need to activate the newly installed KuberDoc cluster using the license activation key. You can obtain it in your CLN account. It's also sent to you via email upon the trial activation or license purchase. In the web browser, log in to KuberDoc admin interface using your administrator credentials provided to you at the end of the installation process. Go to the settings page and click license. Click the Edit icon next to the Installation ID field and fill in your activation key and click Apply. Your KuberDoc cluster will be activated within a few minutes. The type of license is displayed at the top. That's it! We have just finished the KuberDoc master server installation with Ceph support.